I'm going to start a timer to show you guys how fast this is going to take. Let's see if I can see it. Alright, from here, I'm just going to stir. What time we have, Blake? At one minute and twelve seconds. That's impressive. So they've already started to sink, guys. Mm -hmm. So we used to add ice to our recipe. Um, what we found was every time we'd add that 10 pound bag of ice that we were adding just over a gallon of fresh water, so it's diluting our seasoning. And it wasn't really getting the temperature close to 150. So 10 pounds is only getting us to about 190, 185 degrees. So they're continuing to cook. Wow, they pretty much have uh, yeah, the set down to the bottom. In a minute or two. So by adding ice, you're pretty much just kind of warming down the flavor, huh? Yeah, I mean, you spend all this money on the seasoning, and then at the very end, you go and add a lot of fresh water. The first thing those crawfish are going to suck in is that melting ice. So I see. They're not even able to absorb all the seasoning that you wanted them to. How long has it been, Blake? We're at two minutes and 20 seconds. Two minutes and 20 seconds, and we are 150. We're pretty much at 150, guys. We might be a few degrees above. But we're going to go another 15, 20 seconds. I don't know if that camera can see it, but we're going to go another few minutes. Look, the telltale sign, the biggest indicator if you don't have a thermometer, yep. is did those crawfish sink? Uh -huh. when, they suck, when they sink, you know they absorb as much seasoning and liquid as they can. That's amazing. You can see that, guys? Look at that. Pretty much like 95% of them turn sank guys down to like, the bottom. What's our final time? We're at three minutes and five seconds. Three minutes and five seconds for the boil boss on. And we're at 150 degrees. That's good. So we're good to go. And you cannot use your weight to advantage. I have weight that I can use my advantage, so that's what I would use. We're fighting the fight. Alright, so. Interesting about uh, while we're training and stuff There like you that. go. Perfect. People that are normal. Have you taste tested? Try it. What's the verdict? Hot. Three 
<coughs> Bye, Steve. But good. Man, that is nice. That is so beautiful. How's the flavor? Not all. I gotta jump to the other side and see what it's like on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead on this side. I can tell you that the jalapenos out this time. Oh yeah, right. It's still good though. It's so spicy. <laughs> yeah, it's got heat. It's like you put cayenne. Different flavor. Yeah. Uh, not as much flavor on this side though. Let's see. <laughs> it makes These sense, are probably going to be different on this side. Because you're used to it's boiling that flavor. pot. It's not going to make it sweat. It's a good flavor. But that's the pot you usually boil with. Yeah, I'm used to oh, yeah. boiling so that. That's actually, it's only a different pot. Eight and a half gallons, if you want to be precise. Eight and a half gallons. These well, have more spices. That's on the report, so we put it on the line. We probably put it next to your gallon. I'm going to take the spice. Crazy things and crashes. I bet it's incredible. Yeah, it's good. It's probably good. I didn't know people did that. Yeah, you can taste the meat that. Uh huh. And that sausage has jalapeno in it, so it's nice and hot. Yeah, I think that's what it was, Justin, the water difference. Uh huh. Man, that's a nice sized coffee, Steph. <coughs> Might be my last boil. Insurance, that insurance. 